All right, another nonsense video regarding World of Warcraft and this time I try to find an answer to the question, should World of Warcraft be free to play? Obviously not the whole thing, but more on that later. So to put it lightly, if you like MMORPGs, there is not much going on currently. I mean, yeah, Final Fantasy XIV or World of Warcraft gives you the exact same each year, but yeah, really new stuff is nowhere in sight. But lucky me, I found myself playing way too much Project Diablo 2 recently. And I can't believe saying that, but yeah, I have fun playing an online game. Yep, I know. Anyways, I still play MMOs, I still run circles in Guild Wars 2's World vs. World and I still play World of Warcraft. However, the stuff I like in World of Warcraft have changed drastically. So normally I would go for 2k Mythic Plus rating to get the mount, not because it is fun. And I try to pack heroic grades. With Dragonflight Season 4, however, that has changed now. I am basically just queuing for solo shuffle as a heal, just to decline last second. Don't ask why. How about new? The future of PvP in World of Warcraft and MMOs in general should have always been battlegrounds, right after open world. And don't get me wrong, I try to get into mythic raiding and pushing keys, but yeah, I guess. I'm not made for that stuff. I don't know, if you want to be a hardcore MMORPG player nowadays, you have to be kinda special, I think. You okay? Anyways, every time I'm looking for a new MMORPG to try, I run into the exact same issue first. The free to play or trial experience is either non-existent, shout out to new world, or is hot garbage. I'm looking at you Final Fantasy XIV. Which means if I want to just try a game, I have to fully commit by default, either by buying the full game where I very often have to figure out what the heck I have to buy to get the full game or, even more annoying, setting up another subscription for something I might only try for a weekend anyways. Which leads me now to World of Warcraft. So recently something interesting and very surprising happened. World of Warcraft Cataclysm had a free to play weekend, which I think is World of Warcraft's first free-to-play attempt ever. And yes, Wrath of the Lich King got shot. And they worked, there's an endangered species right there. And then something hit me. Do you know how many World of Warcraft versions we have nowadays? We have classic era servers, hardcore classic, season of discovery servers, progression servers that are in Cataclysm currently, retail World of Warcraft and time-limited event servers like that now gone plunderstorm mode or that upcoming mist of pandaria remix server yep and no matter what mode you play you need to have an active subscription and what i was asking myself why why do i have to be subscribed to play each of those modes why is not a single version free to play i mean even for those fun time-limited versions like Panda Remix or Plunderstorm, you have to be subscribed. So I always thought Blizzard's marketing strategy, besides pushing microtransaction, even though I'm not sure if we can call 100 bucks for a horse microtransaction at this point, was to push people into multiple games, catch them in one and make them addicted to try another. Like for example people try Hearthstone or 
for whatever reason, heroes of the storm. And maybe at a certain point they try World of Warcraft and vice versa. I mean, Jesus, if I fire up my Blizzard launcher, I get blasted with ads for... D4 bad. And Call of Duty, even though Call of Duty died after Modern Warfare 2, it is what it is. Which leads me now to the question, why the heck isn't Classic Era free to play? Or hell, why isn't a Mist of Pantaria Remix free to play? It will be gone soon anyways. I mean, isn't there a very high chance that people would like to continue playing and sub to World of Warcraft after Mob Remix is gone. If quite literally every stupid new World of Warcraft version is locked behind a subscription, there is a very very small chance to reach new players, since the reputation of retail World of Warcraft is ruined anyways, in my opinion. And yes, thanks to Chris Madsen, maybe the story will become good again. You are not your past, Anduin. I trust you. Well, yeah, uh, maybe not. But gameplay wise it is still hot garbage. I mean, holy shit, if I want to join a raid in Season of Discovery, I am surprised that I don't have to give my social security number at this point. And since we are on that note, I'm actually very concerned regarding Season of Discovery because it very much feels like a lot of people left. Not sure why. Some people told me phase 3 was way too soon, but who knows. Or maybe hardcore mid max players are actually killing the game. But that's a whole different topic. I mean, mid maxing was always a thing, but nowadays it is on a whole different level. At any rate, that might be a hot take, but I honestly think in this day and age, subscription based games are destined to fail. It is just out of date. I mean, you have to buy the game. You can buy in-game progression, you have a cash shop, and on top of that, a subscription. And what is even more predatory, since I'm very very certain that for the future of MMORPGs you will get expansions more frequently, with less content. That way you have to pay the box price almost on a yearly basis. Maybe. We will see. But I think there's a reason why we already know about three expansions in advance. I really hope Ashes of Creation will not go for subscription contrary to what they already said because a cash shop will be inevitable, 100%. And there is no way I pay for more than one game subscription alongside all my quote unquote IRL subscriptions. Not just because it is getting more and more expensive, mainly because it is just annoying. I mean, why the heck do I have to sign up for three months? To just try a game. And let's be real, if I have to decide between a World of Warcraft subscription or a different game, I most likely choose World of Warcraft. I know it sounds stupid, but if we are all honest, it is what it is. So what do I think is the issue with MMORPGs these days? Well, MMOs are bleeding players for multiple reasons. Current dev teams are not the same as they were 10 years ago regarding Blizzard mostly for good reasons, but for some reasons these new dev teams try to recreate something that worked 10 years ago, or hell, even 20 years ago, just to fail miserably. MMORPGs like World of Warcraft, Guild Wars 2, Elder Scrolls Online or Final Fantasy XIV are trapped in the exact same content loop, without escape. The only difference is that the final boss story is similar to a conflict at Starbucks nowadays. I mean, do you remember the name of the Storm Dragon or Earth Dragon and why they did what they did? I don't, but I still remember Ragnaros. And you know why he wanted to kill us? Because he was pissed by default. That's it. Or the Lich King. You know why he did what he did? Yeah, well everybody knows because his story had time to build up and wasn't compressed into not just one expansion. These days villains in World of Warcraft are compressed into one single season. Jesus, bosses are killed before they are even introduced. But to curveball back. I'm sorry I wasn't listening. To the idea of having a free to play version of World of Warcraft, I honestly think 
it can shift World of Warcraft back to a more balanced state compared to the absolute insane min-max culture it has become. I really think making, I don't know, World of Warcraft era servers or cataclysm servers free to play would be an overall positive for the entire game and more importantly will bring new players in, not just people who return for a new expansion or play the game anyways. Maybe. Or maybe I'm wrong, who knows, like I always say. And with that said, and the intention of my videos to be open-ended, the most important part at the end. Thanks for watching. Like always, share your opinion, be yourself unless you can be Batman, and until then, I guess, yeah, until then.